Gambro. <laughs> I can't do this. Hi, it's Gambro. Um, today I'm going to be walking you through my daily skincare routine and rosy makeup routine. And I'm going to be doing it by pretending I'm on Vogue Beauty Secrets. So let's go. <laughs> so I'm starting off with a clean face and a clean hand. This is an oil-based cleanser, and if you remember anything from chemistry, like dissolves like, so this helps me control the oil on my face. And then I just use this generic brand gentle skin cleanser. After that, I'm going to use um, Milky Toner. Don't forget your neck. After toner, I go in with this um, serum, this blackhead serum by Cause RX. Next is moisturizer. And for the last step of my skincare routine, sunscreen. This is a sunscreen that I use daily. It's the Black Girl sunscreen. Uh, it has SPF 30. It doesn't leave a white cast. It's really sheer um, and it sits well under makeup. So. Before I start on makeup, I like to apply some lip balm. Okay, now it's time for makeup. First thing that I like to do before putting on BB cream is color correct. Comes in three shades. And I take the peachy shade and use it to correct my dark circles. Next, I'll take the green shade and use it to cancel out any redness I have, which is a lot, <laughs> always. Then I'll use the beige shade for any blemishes I have. I have this little guy here. And I'll, I'll blend that in more once I put my BB cream on. This is what I use for BB cream line like that. I use my fingers to apply most of my products um, just because I know that I can make sure that they're squeaky clean before I start applying my makeup. And also I feel like the warmth and the texture helps blend the product better. Now I'm going to set everything with powder. The Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade uh, Fair Ivory. I use it quite often if you can tell. the shine to a minimum. My face usually gets pretty oily throughout the day anyway, so. I'm um, gonna do a bit of contouring. They're all kind of tones of gray. Gray tones are better for contouring. Bronzers are normally quite orange, so they don't look as natural. They don't really look like a natural shadow. Just go along the sides of my nose. along my jaw. Done. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is blush. I use the Makeup by Mario um, Soft Pop Plumping Veil Blush. Just take a sponge and I smell. <laughs> I like to apply it in a pretty broad area. I try to think about where my blush forms naturally. And that is center of my cheeks and it kind of spreads up to right underneath my eye. I try not to really go past my eye. To my chin and my nose. Ooh, oh gosh, I put a lot on my nose. <laughs> so for lips, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This is my old one. <laughs> I still keep this one in my purse. 
Now I use the Romand Glass Sting Melting Balm in the shade, shade oh, Veiled Rose, Veiled Rose. Such a pretty color. Finally, it's time for eyes. This is the palette that I use. Um, you can't even tell what it is because it's completely covered with stickers. Taking this peachy shade in the middle. I also use this palette by Too Faced Toasty Shade. Apply that in my outer corners. And then the highlighter shade, oh, I put a lot. <laughs> I like to use this Chanel palette for adding a bit more dimension to my eyes. I take this uh, kind of milky shimmer shade and I just apply it under my brow bone. I have pretty deep set eyes. So I like to kind of bring them out just a little bit with this. I definitely don't have the most condensed makeup routine. I'm kind of everywhere with the palettes that I use and um, hopefully I'll find something like this that has everything I need. But in the meantime, I'll just carry around a ginormous makeup bag. Uh, so next I'm gonna use a brownish shade. Small angled brush and line my bottom lash line with the brown shade. I actually use four different eyeliners. I told you my routine wasn't condensed, but um, first I use this pinky one, which kind of functions as an eyeshadow. Um, I apply it to my bottom lid, and I feel like it just adds some warmth back into my face or it makes me look like I have pink eye, either or. <laughs> Next I use this brown, not brown, black gel liner and I just tight line. This part's very tricky because it's very easy to stab yourself in the eye. I like to draw just a little wing. It's always super messy, but it's fine. Next I use this cream colored liner for the outside corner of my eye. This. Everything. <laughs> I'm just realizing everything that I do looks so painful. It's not as long as you, you know, don't poke your actual eyeball. Which does happen a lot. And then the final eyeliner is this brown one that I use to emphasize my um, beauty marks that have kind of gotten covered up with the BB cream. I totally forgot to do my eyebrows. My eyebrows are already kind of a nice shape, um, so I just elongate the... I also like to use this uh, brow mascara, and it, uh, it helps me form the shape of my eyebrows, but it also softens the look of them. See the difference? Now it's time for mascara. This is the... Uh, Thrive Cosmetics. Getting up close and personal here. Jump scare. <laughs> Always inevitably get some on my skin. Okay, we're almost done. The last thing that I like to do is take the Jones Road Miracle Balm. This is in Happy Hour. This is kind of just like a multi-purpose balm. Um, I like it as a highlighter. Just looks like this. Dab it on my cheeks. I also like to put it on my collarbone. Finishing it off with a few sprays of my favorite signature perfume, the Daisy Marc Jacobs Oh So Fresh. I dropped it and the cap came off, so I just have to dab it. And that's it!
I plan to be doing a lot more fashion and beauty videos in the future, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, you might consider subscribing. I'm bad at this. But I hope to see you soon. Bye.